Squashy, farmer John Hassel said the good of the industry far outweighed the bad but MLA was failing to defend it, there are a lot of mistruths being made about the whole live trade and they're not in there supporting it, he said, we're just sitting back and saying, okay do what you like, and not worrying about it, that's an abject failure of what they're meant to be doing, they should be there defending us as hard as they can. Livestock ship the Awasi Express that should be part of our levies, we pay it, we should be using it for that, they should put money into a fund where we can, on an ongoing basis, promote agriculture as a whole as a viable, sustainable and renewable industry that we can't afford not to have Mr. Hassel suggested a good place to start would be to place cameras on trucks and boats and live. Stream the journey of livestock to improve transparency and accountability, if we all want to do this and do it well then we need to be looking at every single thing that we can, he said, real-time monitoring could pick up problems a lot earlier and solve them before it gets to an animal's death, telling the story Mla collected $106 million on animal levies in 2017-18 and received $80 million government funding. Wa farmers are particularly reliant on live exports to sell their livestock because the state's ability to process the animals is more limited than on the East Coast. The Wa Farmers Federation has previously called on MLA and other agriculture bodies to fund a national community engagement campaign because it didn't believe there was enough being done with levies to promote the positives of the sector. Loading Wa Farmers Chief Executive Trevor Whittington called on the MLA to seriously attack the issue and put it as part of its core business, as without a social license to operate spending on other areas was pointless. The livestock and grains industry is pouring well over $100 million a year into these federal levies, there's no reason why they can't allocate 10% of that for community engagement, he said. It's not political lobbying, it's simply to explain what agriculture does and why it's important, as we move into the second, third and fourth generation families who don't have any relatives farming there's millions of people who have come to Australia who have had no linkage to the bush or agriculture, they need to hear the story and the only way they can do that is with a lot of money and a lot of really clever people telling what is a very positive story, already on it this year MLA will spend 12.7 million dollars on its communication program, which includes community engagement. It will spend $35.5 million on consumer and community support. MLA Chief Marketing and Communications Officer Lisa Sharp defended the organization's community engagement and said rebuilding trust wasn't just about a nationwide campaign. We know that policy and practice ultimately underpin the continued consumer and community support for our red meat industry, she said. Put simply, actions speak louder than words and our industry must implement policies and practices that deliver on the values and expectations of the community. Community trust issues can't just be addressed with a mass advertising campaign. Ms Sharp said MLA ran a successful schools program, the Australian Good Meat website, the Paddock to Plate VR experience, various community events and producer advocacy training. She said MLA took direction from industry for priority and investments. MLA continues to consult with industry, as well as with grassroots producers to guide our research, development and adoption priorities, she said. Animal cruelty footage on board ships has since come into question following allegations animal activists paid crew members for the damning video. The allegations are being investigated by the federal government. Animals Australia is standing by the footage and has previously said evidence of suffering had been accepted by authorities.